I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty. You're going to do narration? <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's digging a hole for the new company. It's beginning to be. He went underground. Where's the merchant sentinel, the one that's up above looking for danger, danger? Look at that cute little guy. It's a sword fight. No competition. No, they're happy. The one is right here. It's funny, isn't it? Don't you know? He said, no, you not Oh, he's he has a back you. Look at you. Are you a little blind? Hey, look here. How do you think about working at the San Diego Zoo as a zookeeper. Good life? Um, I mean, I guess as far as being a zookeeper, it's warm all the time, you're outside. Best zoo in the whole gassed out for at least a half an hour and so their brain doesn't overheat. So it's pretty neat. Where are the oh yeah, look at the animals that are going to try and eat these big buffalo. Too. Imagine a tiny cheetah trying to eat this animal. It's not going to happen. They can weigh up to 1,800 pounds. And these are our two bachelors. Have you guys ridden the tram today? So you guys saw the breeding herd of Cape buffalo. And if you look at their horns, they're really tight and close to their head and then they go straight out. So if we were a herd of Cape Buffalo, what we would all do right now is turn and face outward. And all those horns yeah. would be pointed toward that pride of lions trying to attack us. And we would put our babies in the middle. We would also put any sick or injured animals in the middle. And out in Africa in the savannah or any animal world, that's rare. It's pretty amazing. Very unique. If you guys have 10 minutes tonight, you can watch the number one most viewed animal video ever called Battle at Kruger. Oh yeah, I think I've seen A-R-U-G-E-R. -E Just average people out on a safari. See our giraffes? Okay. It does not get poisoned by the ants because it's a sprinkler. Good rhino. What is the name of those birds? So in Africa, like there grounds. are two Nothing. different kinds of rhinos. There are black rhinos and there are white rhinos. Typically, they're upper and lower lip. They have wide or flat upper and lower lips. So the one who's walking around, you guys see that wide, flat lip? Oh, yeah. You guys are looking at the world's largest grazer or lawnmower. 
and those big wide lifts are designed for grazing grasses and uh, the one theory is that the African Dutch word for wide it sounds a lot like height or white and that's how it got started so never trust a common name it's a black or a white rhino is about the same size color and the feet is just mm -hmm. so with all that said, we make a lot more sustainable things, right? Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, <laughs> Viagra, uh, chemotherapy. But at the rate we're going, um, some scientists are saying that in 20 or 30 years, we, we may not have any rhinos left out in the wild. They may only be in zoos. It had been raised that chicken noodle soup makes you feel better when you're sick, right? Is it scientifically? Probably not, but it might be what we want when we're sick. But we still take cold medicine, right? And they're what scientists call functionally extinct because um, there are only three left of breeding age. They all live in Kenya, and two of them are mother daughter. Um, so it'd be like asking three people to repopulate the earth. So, what's up? Uh, they're hers. Both of them are hers. I'm not gonna hurt. Basa, good boy. So I'm gonna have everybody grab a seat for me, please. This is Basa. He's a two-year-old male. So I'm gonna have you guys come all the way to the back of the truck here. You're gonna hide in your right hand, and you're gonna feed him with your left hand. Nice, sweet, gentle boy. Oh, he's so cute. You're hiding in your right hand. So Feeding with your left hand. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, this is Bigetti. Right. Notice shy Basa here. Shy dent gentle yeah, Basa. Hi. Hey. Oh, you wow. scared yourself. You scared yourself. Do you want to hang out or no? He's studying. He's like, hmm. All right, who's next? You're next? And how amazing their bodies are and how quickly they can stand up. Because if we can harness that, then we can actually help our astronauts in space. Um, that's how amazing their physique is. Um, parents, I'm going to warn you, we could potentially go to an R rating within the next few minutes. Because... Um, <laughs> That's, there's a reason why nobody used giraffe parts for virility. <laughs> it's going backwards a step, buddy. So this is what I'm talking about. So I'll nudge her. No, I'm going forwards again. Good job, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Oh, show off for the tram. Do it, buddy. <laughs> and um, so that sole purpose is just to attract ladies. A lot of people think that um, they're to defend themselves or protect themselves, and it's not. Actually, they more get in the way. <laughs> well, sorry, parents. Everything's R-rated today. Something in the air. Yeah. Something in the air. How to feed a rhino. What you want to do is take a piece of apple. You're going to go over, not through the slats. Just place it right in his mouth. Takes it right from you. Then you can reach on out, touch his face, touch his horn. You can touch Just like this. It won't hurt ya. Don't be shy, guys. He's a beauty. Yeah, don't forget to touch him. 